His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace senior royal family members, officials, citizens, top achievers, and those who received medals in the Gymnasium Bahrain 24 to greet His Majesty. His Majesty the King welcomed the attendees, noting the role of such meetings in strengthening the values of Bahraini society's inherited values that emphasize that communication is one of the authentic customs that reflect the spirit of one family and embody the values of affection and brotherhood that unite the people of Bahrain throughout history. بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أيها الحضور الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته وأهلا بكم في هذا اللقاء الطيب خير ما نبدأ به تلاوة عطرة من القرآن علي صلاح عمر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اذكروا الله ذكرا كثيرا وسبحوه بكرة وأصيلا 
هو الذي يصلي عليكم وملائكته ليخرجكم من الظلمات إلى النور وكان بالمؤمنين رحيما تحيتهم يوم يلقونه سلام وأعد لهم أجرا كريما يا أيها النبي إنا أرسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا وبشر المؤمنين بأن لهم من الله فضلا كبيرا ولا تطع الكافرين والمنافقين ودع أذاهم وتوكل على الله وكفى بالله وكيلا صدق الله العظيم يتفضل سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة His Majesty the King then delivered the following speech حفظه الله ورعا بإلقاء كلمة بهذه المناسبة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وحياكم الله جميعا على الرحم والسعة يسعدنا أن نلتغي بكم اليوم لنحتفي بالنجاح الكبير والأداء المتميز لدورة الألعاب المدرسية الدولية التي استضافتها مملكة البحرين مؤخرا ولنعبر للفائزين والفائزات من المدارس الحكومية والخاصة عن مدى سرورنا وفخرنا بما حققوه من نتائج رياضية متفوقة كما أتوجه بهذه المناسبة الطيبة بشكر الكبير وامتنان العميق لسمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة وسمو الشيخ خالد بن حمد آل خليفة على قيادتهما الرائعة ومتابعتهما الحثيثة لهذا الحدث الرياضي الدولي الناجح في كل تفاصيله ولجميع مساعيهم المخلصة في خدمة وطنهم وأبارك كذلك جهود الفرق العاملة في تنظيم هذه الدورة الرياضية وفي مقدمتهم سعادة وزير التربية والتعليم وكافة المسؤولين والإداريين والمتطوعين الذين عملوا بجد واجتهاد للوصول بالدورة الرياضية لهذا المستوى الراقي من الإنجاز ويبقى في القلب تقدير خاص وشكر خالص لأبنائي وبناتي أبطال البحرين الذين تفوقوا في أدائهم الرياضي ورفعوا اسم البحرين عاليا على منصات التتويج في هذا المحفل الرياضي المهم وهو أداء جسد بدوره المستوى المتقدم للرياضة البحرينية ولقد كنتم جميعا خير سفراء للوطن العزيز ولكل القيم الحضارية التي نتمسك بها وأنتم تستقبلون وترحبون بضيوفكم القادمين من أنحاء العالم تاركين الأثر الطيب والذكرى الجميلة في نفوسهم لما وجدوه من حسن استقبال وهو من خصال أهل البحرين الكرام فكل التهاني والتبريكات للفائزين والفائزات وإلى مناسبات قادمة نحتفي فيها بالمزيد 
من الإنجازات المتألقة ببريق الذهب بإذنه تعالى والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Then the medalist of the Gymnasiad recently held in Bahrain greeted His Majesty the King, who congratulated them and praised their achievements and good results, which honoured their country in this international sports event, wishing them success in upcoming tournaments. الجلالة أيها الحضور الكريم يلقي الآن سعادة الدكتور محمد مبارك جمعة وزير التربية والتعليم كلمة بهذه المناسبة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. The Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Jama, then delivered his speech in which he thanked His Majesty the King for receiving the champions who made numerous achievements in the Gymnasiad Bahrain 24. He praised His Majesty's patronage of this event and his directives that contributed to its success, which enhanced Bahrain's status on the world sports map. He hailed His Majesty's support to the youth and sports sector, especially schools in Bahrain, in which His Majesty is keen to instill knowledge and enhance the skills of the youth, which result in the many achievements and scientific advancements. The minister also praised the follow-up and support of the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, in showcasing this prestigious event and hailed His Royal Highness directive to develop the school sports. He hailed the role of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Committee for Youth and Sports, his Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al-Khalifa in being a role model for the youth, praising His Highness international achievements that enhance Bahrain's status. He also praised His Highness directives and follow-up in developing the youth and sports work. The Minister hailed the role of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority President of 
the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, informing a supreme organizing committee for the event. He praised the efforts of all educational and sports cadres in preparing students for the gymnasiad, adding that the event received local, regional and international recognition. He praised the achievements of the students in earning 66 medals and winning fourth place in the Arab level and 13th globally. He pledged to continue serving the kingdom under His Majesty the King's leadership, wishing him continued good health and happiness. التي استمدت عزيمتها من نور فكركم فبالأمس القريب شرف أبناؤكم وبناتكم من المتميزين في حقول العلم والمعرفة والتحصيل العلمي بالسلام على جلالتكم نظير ما حققوه من مستويات تعليمية متميزة واليوم يشرف أبناؤكم وبناتكم ممن تميزوا في الحقل الرياضي وحققوا قدرات دولية متقدمة في دورة الألعاب المدرسية الدولية بالسلام على جلالتكم تأكيدا لما تولونه حفظكم الله من اهتمام ورعاية أبوية سامية لهم يشعرون بها في نفوسهم وقلوبهم ووجدانهم سيد جلالة الملك المعظم إن الدعم والمتابعة الدؤوبة من لدن سيد صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله وما سخرته الحكومة الموقرة من إمكانات لإظهار هذا الحدث الدولي في أبهى صورة وتوجيهات سموه الملكي بالعناية بالرياضة المدرسية وتخصيص المزيد من الوقت والموارد لها كانت أساساً متيناً فيما تحقق سواء في نجاح تنظيم الدورة أو في منجزات أبنائكم وبناتكم من الطلاب والطالبات وقد كان لسمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة ممثل جلالة الملك المعظم للأعمال الإنسانية وشؤون الشباب رئيس المجلس الأعلى للشباب والرياضة بكونه القدوة والأنموذج الذي يتطلع إليه شباب وشابات مملكة البحرين وما حققه سموه وأنجاله الكرام من إنجازات مشرفة ودولية لمملكة البحرين فضلاً عن توجيهات سموه الدائمة ومتابعته الميدانية لتطوير العمل الرياضي والشبابي التأثير المباشر على عزيمة وإصرار طلاب وطالبات مملكة البحرين في أن يكسبوا هذا التحدي ويرفعوا عالياً راية مملكة البحرين خفاقة وبفضل المتابعة المباشرة لسمو الشيخ خالد بن حمد آل خليفة النائب الأول لرئيس المجلس الأعلى للشباب والرياضة رئيس الهيئة العامة للرياضة رئيس اللجنة الأولمبية البحرينية لعمل اللجنة العليا المنظمة للدورة ولجانها التنفيذية وجميع الكوادر التعليمية والرياضية والتطوعية التي عملت بكل جد واجتهاد ومراحل إعداد واستعداد الطلاب والطالبات المشاركين في الدورة فإن النتائج في مختلف مراحل استضافة الدورة كانت مشرفة وحظيت بالإشادة المحلية والإقليمية والدولية إن هذه الكوكبة من طلبة مدرسة مملكة البحرين الذين توشحت صدورهم بالميداليات لهم ثمرة للمسيرة الخير والنماء في عهدكم الزاهر والزاخر بالإنجازات وتجسيداً لرؤية جلالتكم فإن تألقهم الذي مكن مملكة البحرين من الحصول على 66 ميدالية وتبوء المركز الرابع عربياً والثالث عشر عالمياً يبشر بمستقبل واعد للرياضة المدرسية سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة نعاهد جلالتكم على مواصلة البذل والعطاء مجددين لجلالتكم آيات الولاء والإخلاص ومعبرين عن عظيم الفخر والاعتزاز بخدمة هذا الوطن العزيز في ظل قيادة جلالتكم سائلين المولى عز وجل أن يحفظكم بحفظه ويرعاكم برعايته وأن يمد في عمركم لتبقوا ذخرا وسندا لهذا الوطن وشعبه الكريم والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته
At the end of the meeting, the attendees expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King for receiving them, valuing the communication on approach that His Majesty established with the people of Bahrain, which confirms the close bonds and cohesion between the leader of the country and his people. They expressed pride in the major achievements, housing projects, educational edifices, advanced health facilities, urban expansion and new cities established in the country during His Majesty's prosperous era. They said that they will continue to follow the path of their forefathers in loyalty to the country and its leadership. They pray to Allah Almighty to protect His Majesty and grant him lasting good health and happiness to continue leading the march of development to enhance the country's gains and pioneering achievements and consolidate its regional and global position. Remarkable day for students from public and private schools today uh, because they met with His Majesty the King who actually um, honored them with this meeting in recognition of what they have achieved during the ISF gymnasium that took place here in Bahrain 2024. As you are aware, our students uh, scored like 66 medals in a variety of games and competed very well among you know thousands of students who came from all around the world. This is a testimony actually about the advancement that we have in sports education in the Kingdom of Bahrain. And I think it's going to be a very beautiful memory for the students to meet His Majesty and to listen to him. And at the same time, this is going to be an encouragement for the Ministry of Education and the rest of the government entities to play more and to do more actually to um, make sure that Bahrain is pos positioned in the best place as it deserves among other countries which achieve very well in sport uh, education. First of all, I want to thank His Highness King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for supporting us throughout the ISF tournament and especially for this meeting. I felt very honored to be presented here and to be brought here and it's made me proud that I presented Bahrain on a global uh, view and I would like to do more of that in the future, inshallah. I feel really honored for representing Bahrain in this recent tournament. It means so much to me and I feel really grateful for everything. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Salah, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting, which approved the draft response to the royal speech on the occasion of the opening of the third session of the sixth legislative term to submit it to His Majesty. The council then approved a draft law amending Article 4 of Law 57 of 2006 on establishing the Labour Fund. The amendments will contribute to achieving a balance between stimulating the economy, encouraging investment and supporting national employment in addition to supporting the objectives that Temkin seeks to achieve by supporting the employment of Bahrainis. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, met with UK former Prime Minister, Chairwoman of the Global Commission on Modern Slavery and Human Trafficking, Theresa May, in the presence of the Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor Al Khulayf, and senior officials. The Deputy Premier conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He emphasized Bahrain's achievements in the field of protecting human rights and combating human trafficking, reflecting Bahrain's commitment to justice and equality under the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness. He said that Bahrain's approach as an international partner addresses humanitarian challenges on a global scale. He highlighted Bahrain's commitment to integrating core human rights principles into its legislation, policies and national plans. This commitment serves as a foundation of Bahrain's anti-trafficking strategy, which emphasizes prevention, protection, judicial integrity, partnerships and governance in line with international best practices. The Deputy Premier congratulated May on the establishment of the Commission, commending its focus on human rights and combating human trafficking. He affirmed Bahrain's commitment to strengthening international collaboration and partnerships to address this global issue and wished the Commission success in its mission. May expressed her appreciation for Bahrain's leadership in protecting human rights and combating trafficking. She affirmed that Bahrain became a role model for others on how to tackle modern slavery and human trafficking and wished the Kingdom continued progress and prosperity.
The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received UK former Prime Minister, Chairwoman of the Global Commission on Modern Slavery and Human Trafficking, Theresa May, and members of the Commission in the presence of the Minister of Sustainable Development, CEO of the Economic Development Board, Noor Al Khulayf, Deputy Minister of Interior and Chief of the Public Security and Under Secretary of Interior for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs. The Interior Minister welcomed the visit of May and her delegation delegation to Bahrain, praising the historical relations between Bahrain and the UK that serve the interests of both countries. He congratulated her on the establishment of this commission, noting the cooperation between her and Bahrain, stressing that Bahrain is always proactive in the field of combating trafficking in persons and adhering to the applicable international standards, pointing to Bahrain's achievements and advanced international position in this field. He explained that the people of Bahrain are accustomed to humane treatment of others, welcoming foreign workers and preserving their rights, which stems from the approach and history of the people of Bahrain based on respect for all, which was reflected in the development of laws that serve the public interest and benefit citizens. He noted the importance of proactive work and use of modern technologies and artificial intelligence in the process of combating trafficking in persons and protecting victims. Topics discussed in this meeting included Bahrain's achievements in the field of human rights and combating trafficking in persons on the international level. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna al rumaihi said that work is underway to complete the plans and development models in the Muharraq City Development Project to start implementing construction and development works in the near future. She said that the project is proceeding according to the time set timetable, highlighting the continuous coordination between government agencies in charge of implementing this project in accordance with the Royal Decree to preserve the historical and cultural identity of Bahrain's buildings and cities and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister. The minister added that a number of real estate acquisition payments have been issued within the scope of the project's development areas, noting that the first phase of the project includes the construction and restoration of 300 housing units and the development of infrastructure services. She also said that the trajectory of the government land development rights program project is continuously expanding and that the ministry has launched seven out of a total of eight projects and work is currently underway to prepare new packages of projects that will be launched in the next phase. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi, held a meeting with heads and representatives of youth organizations. Tawfiqi highlighted the ministry's focus on engaging young people in managing Bahrain's youth movement by enabling them to lead initiatives and programs aligned with their aspirations under a clear national strategy. She emphasized the ministry's commitment to empowering youth organizations as vital platforms for young people to gain skills, develop ideas and achieve growth and excellence. She affirmed the ministry's support for these organizations to serve as national models that foster ambition and creativity among youth. The minister also noted that the meeting aimed to strengthen collaboration with youth organizations, highlighting the importance of sustained dialogue with youth to address their needs and showcase achievers as role models. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King, the seventh edition of the Bahrain International Exhibition for Agricultural and Livestock Production, Marai 2024, will kick off this week. The Under Secretary for Agriculture and Livestock Affairs at the Ministry of Municipalities and Agriculture, Engineer Asim Abdul Latif, paid an inspection visit to the exhibition site at Bahrain International Endurance Village to review the final preparations for Marai 24. During the tour, they were briefed on the events that will be organized this year, namely the Animal and Agricultural Exhibition, which includes the Municipalities Agricultural Exhibition, Farmers Market, Performances, Arts and Culture Corner, as well as entertainment shows. Tem Keen was awarded the Best Workplace Recognition by the international organization Great Place to Work as part of the official ranking for Bahrain for the period from November 24 to November 25. The award came following a comprehensive trust index and culture review questionnaire 
completed by all team members, which aligns with Temkin's strategic priorities, which focus on creating quality employment opportunities for local talent, supporting career development and assisting organizations in private sector development to enhance economic impact and foster sustainable growth. The recognition is a testament to Temkin's continuous efforts in cultivating a productive work environment through policies based on equal opportunities, encouraging flexible working patterns and emphasizing continuous training and development. The Financial Intelligence National Center participated in the 39th General Meeting of the Middle East and North Africa Financial Action Task Force in Riyadh. On the sidelines of the meeting, the first regional conference on combating money laundering, terrorism financing and the proliferation of weapons was held to mark the 20th anniversary of the MENA FATF. During the conference, Bahrain highlighted its key experiences in regulating virtual assets. The center reaffirmed its commitment to FATF standards to ensure their legal, safe and regulated use. The meeting discussed shared topics aimed at strengthening the effectiveness of anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing systems in line with FATF international standards. The Ministry of Education has issued a circular to public schools regarding the implementation of Remote Education Day on November 26. The circular emphasizes the importance of student preparation for remote learning. The Ministry advises students to mentally prepare for lessons, avoid sources of stress or personal distractions and choose a quiet, well-equipped study space. The Ministry recommends that students wear appropriate attire, such as school uniforms, during online classes. The circular also encourages active participation in lessons through constructive interaction with teachers and peers, asking questions, engaging in discussions and attentive listening to facilitate understanding and retention of information. The National Space Science Agency has announced that Bahrain has stopped the UN's indicators on women's contribution to the space sector, according to the recently released study by the Space for Women program of the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs, titled Landmark Study on Gender Equality in the Space Sector. We have more in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain has always achieved progress and prosperous development in the field of space science through the distinguished efforts of the National Space Science Agency, which enabled it to become an honorable example of the Kingdom's development and keenness to empower its youth in advanced sciences. In a new national achievement in space science, the National Space Science Agency announced that the Kingdom of Bahrain has topped the United Nations indicators on the contribution of women in the space sector, according to a study issued by the Space for Women program of the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, titled Landmark Study on Gender Equality in the Space Sector. This achievement reflects the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to promote gender equality in its various space initiatives and its commitment to creating an inclusive national space sector through its participation in the programs of the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs and its efforts to implement women's empowerment policies in an important and vital sector such as space. The Kingdom of Bahrain's successes in empowering women in the field of space science have become a model for countries that seek to achieve gender equality in the space industry.